What is going on there, everybody? I'm Tyler, I'm out in the backyard right now because I got something a little bit different for you guys today. Typically we do build videos and whatnot, but I wanted to tell you about a product today that was newly released and how you guys can save some money on it and how I am going to be using it. Uh, I wanna tell you about it today and then I'm gonna be making a build using it later on. As you guys know, excuse him, as you guys know, we got egg layer chickens that produce eggs for us, obviously. We've obviously got the garden back there that produces produce for us. And then we also got meat chickens that are pretty tiny right now, but they got about, I don't know, maybe six weeks left of their life before they get butchered for our meat. On another piece of property, we have some pigs. And then as you guys know, or you might know, I also hunt. So we have the venison that we need a place to keep and we need a place to keep safe. A lot of that stuff goes into a freezer and if the power goes out, we do have a whole house generator to keep that produce safe, but we are dependent on the fuel to make that happen. We also have a backup. So this is connected to the propane pig that runs the whole house, including the freezers. We have a backup that runs off of unleaded gasoline. In case this fails, we can at least run the freezers and keep that meat frozen. But now if we have an extended power outage and the whole house generator goes down and then we're out of fuel for the backup generator, what do we do to preserve the months of effort and the hundreds of dollars of food that we have in our freezers? And that's where I have always wanted to have a solar backup with some battery systems. Now, this is just an experiment right now. I got one 220 watt solar panel and we got one brand new, newly released EcoFlow Delta II Max sitting behind there right there, sucking in the juice from power in the sky. This way we can harness the power of the sun to charge the batteries to run our freezers, pull water out of the well, do whatever we need to do, go camping with it. But also as we're running the generators, we're not using the full capacity there so we can be using the extra capacity that's built into those generators to be charging batteries. We can turn our generators off and then continue to keep everything frozen and everything safe. This is EcoFlow's 220 watt bifacial solar panel. It folds into, basically it folds together so you only have this section right here, it slides into this pouch that they have as a, that doubles as a stand right here. And this is a 220 watt panel. The sun's kind of over here right now so I think I'm only pulling in about 100 watts right now but daisy chain a couple of these together and you could quickly charge your solar generator or solar battery right there. I think you can put in a total of a thousand watts into the Delta II Max. So the Delta II Max is a brand new release. It's a clean and quiet 2400 watt replacement for your gas generators. It's completely silent. Well, let's see, you can hear it running a little bit right now. Barely, I mean, if I'm sitting right here, I can hear it a little bit, but even if you're in a tent camping, you are not gonna hear a peep out of this Delta II Max. So this is a solar generator. No fumes, noise, or maintenance. Powers 99% of your appliances in your home. Completely quiet, fume-free, and absolutely zero maintenance. No oil changes, no fuel filter changes, no filling it up with fuel, etc. You can see we got our info screen on the front here, and we have lots of different USB options, USB-A and USB-C. In the back here, we have a ton of AC plugs, and then we have our AC input as, as well as two solar inputs right there. And then we even got some crazy stuff down here, like 12 volt power. You can turn your AC on and off with a button right here, as well as the whole unit with the button on the front. On the side here, you have two additional ports to plug in expandable battery. You can go all the way up to six kilowatt hours worth of batteries with the Delta II Max. Unplugged it, and I'm gonna pick it up for you right here. Not too heavy it is an LFP a lithium iron phosphate battery and you can have 3,000 cycles through this and you'll still have 80% capacity if you're looking for a solar generator you definitely want to look for lithium iron phosphate and I I knew that one before I ever got anything from EcoFlow just the longevity of the batteries is what you're after right there if you combine this bad boy with AC so power out of your wall and solar panels, you have the fastest charging time in the industry. You can go from zero to 80% in only about 43 minutes if you're pumping in the full wattage capacity. So while we got this screen telling us what's going on right now, like 108 watts of solar power only coming in, nothing going out right now. We also have an app that we can see the same information, a little more detail on the phone, 107 watts of solar power coming in, no AC power coming in and we got if we were to leave it at that which is only about half the capacity of that solar panel take about nine hours to charge but if we plug it in to the wall see if we can safely do this with one hand 
there we go now we're going to get ac power coming in in addition to the solar power and we'll see this jump up here in just a minute when everything changes so total we're going to have uh, somewhere around 600 watts of ac power coming in i believe and 108 yep so we see that changing and we'll see the recharge time drop down once the ecoflow delta 2 max recalculates its charge time which is pretty sweet you also have control over here of turning your output your ac output on the back on and off as well as the dc and the usb which is pretty sweet to be able to have that control from your phone um, so really what am i going to do with this thing the primary purpose of wanting this ecoflow backup battery is to keep the freezers cold keep our hard work and money frozen in there and as you can see i am running off the ecoflow right now i think only one of these three freezers is running but as you know, 2,400 running watts, and we have an X boost up to 4,800 watts for a couple of seconds. So this will definitely have the oomph to start these up and keep them running for a long time to come, especially if we start pumping some solar power into this while it's sitting here. So Tyler, you're gonna use that like a week out of the year. Hopefully you're right. I don't wanna actually have to use it for the freezers because that means we don't have power and that's inconvenient. So what am I gonna do with it the whole time? So you guys remember, we cleaned this pond out last year. It's looking better, it's not looking great. I've had a poison around the sides a little bit as you can see right here, we got some weeds dying out. We wanna get some sand in here. We wanna get it cleaned up, we wanna get some rocks around it. So my plan is to use the sun to power an aerator pump for here. I actually got one hooked up right now. I'm gonna turn it right on, hear it kick on right now. And in a second here, we will see bubble start. Look at that. We see the bubbles right into the pond. That's the sun right now. And I can have, I could tell the difference for maybe three weeks of running this in this pond, a lot more clarity right now. So the plan is to get a couple more solar panels and I'm going to likely mount them on the roof of the barn, maybe right here by the air conditioner unit right there. For, that's for the shop. And we are gonna use the sun to run the aerator pump. Now we could probably get enough solar power to make sure that thing runs continuously on the sun with the EcoFlow, but also we can time to use the low peak energy from DTE, which is the, the source where we live. We can use low peak energy to charge up the battery to make sure that through the high peak zones, we can use the battery, which is either using the sun, hopefully the sun, or the low the lower energy cost to run this aerator pump through that time frame. And we can have timers and stuff to make sure that we're not over the duty cycle of this aerator pump. This is exciting stuff. As an engineer, this tickles my, my inner engineering spirit right there. And I just wanna let you guys know about the great deals that EcoFlow is having right now. So what do we got for you guys? If you guys use the coupon code EFDIYTIE5, that's EF EcoFlow DIY TIE 5, on EcoFlow's website, you can save an extra 5% off the new Delta 2 Max and the Delta 2 Max solar generator bundles from now until, look at the dog down here, from now until June 4th, you can save that 5% off using EFDIY TIE. Also, using the coupon code 2x110DIY TIE, you can get an EcoFlow Delta 2 Max and two 110 solar panel bundles. So it's good deals right there, guys. Links to that stuff down in the description below. Thanks to EcoFlow for providing this to us. We're going to have a good fun setting this up. We're going to build a little house for this out here. I think the EcoFlow might stay in the barn, but we've got to get solar panels up there to run the aerator in the pond. Again, Delta and I thank EcoFlow for sponsoring this video. I'm DIY Tyler. This is Delta. That's the Delta 2 Max. You guys have a good one.